new government would be able to do a number of things to improve productivity performance in the UK. Businesses need an enabling environment, they need to be able to access finance when they're productive and they need to be able to access expertise in order to innovate and have new ideas. On the one hand, it's very hard for small and medium-sized enterprises to access finance. This is partly due to problems in competition in the banking sector. Um, it's also problems since the financial crisis. Banks are quite unwilling to lend to some of these high-risk small businesses that are potentially the most innovative. On the other hand, with expertise, it's really important for businesses to be able to draw on some of the research and development activities going on in universities. And the government has actually implemented this new policy, which was an idea of the Labour government, but implemented by the coalition, um, called the Catapult Centres. And these are basically centres on targeted types of technology or research, which aim to bring together businesses and academics. So far, these have been considered a success, and all parties are considering expanding this network in, if they win the election. All three major parties are saying similar things when it comes to targeted innovation policies. There are some details where there are some differences, but so far the bigger differences are in things like corporate tax rate, the main rate of corporate tax. Labour's been saying that they would increase this while keeping it competitive compared to the G7 economies, whereas um, the Conservatives would keep it at 20%, which is very low. The new government should encourage all different types of finance for companies. Um, there's too much focus on debt in the UK. This is largely because the tax system encourages companies to take out debt because you're able to deduct your interest payments from your taxable profits. Um, so other forms of finance are more conducive to innovation. For example, crowdfunding or shares or um, business angels, private equity, venture capital, all these different types of finance can be more conducive to more risky and innovative activities. Labour are considering establishing a small business administration to mimic the US model, which would coordinate all the government's activities for small businesses, and this has generally been supported by businesses, and it's, it seems like a good idea, the US version has been very successful. My election economics takeaway is that making businesses more productive in the UK is crucial for our long-term prosperity. Governments can help to do this by helping businesses to invest more, both in capital and in innovative activities. This is possible through creating the right tax incentives, the right infrastructure and a good skills base, and making sure that businesses can access the finance they need to undertake these projects.